Hey everybody, welcome back to Infamous. We're gonna go ahead and start off Zeke's Request, one of the two new story Come missions we got here. Zeke. On our new island, it. after we like t totally demolished the first island storyline-wise. Last session. Yeah. <laughs> oh no. I, I, that little texture overlap thing on the wood there just... Mm. It, shows its a it shows this game's age pretty hard. It's so easy to not do. I know, but this was also 2009 when companies still kind of didn't know how textures worked all that well. With oh, HD. this that is this mission. This introduces one of the even more annoying enemies. And since I'm playing on hard mode, geez. oh yeah, it's the big old, it's the big old, uh, the big guy, guy, the big guy who basically releases a bunch of little spider insect things. Yeah. Guy has a very Left 4 Dead feel to him. Can't remember the name of it, but oh, you just got stuck on nothing. Yeah. You're, are you that scared of fighting this guy? That you no. don't want you want to get stuck on any texture? He's just annoying. Yeah, those little green things there, those are the annoying parts cuz Yeah. They are actually independent enemies from this guy cuz you can find after this mission, you can find them like laying in little trash cans or something. After. Which is kind of stupid. It's like it's if you're going to introduce an enemy that's connected to another enemy, just leave the, them as a duo instead of just, oh, well, now we can just put the spiders in where we want. Just to, just to mess with you. At least in this area, anyway, because it's like you have to go near them to spawn them, and they're usually on ground level hiding in things anyway. And they're also extremely weak, so it's like you can just zap them once and then they're dead, even at the lowest level power. But this, this choice is what? stupid. This choice is stupid, because it's basically, which poster do you like better? Which one... Do you want to be seen as a good guy or a bad guy? Do you want to be seen as human Zeus, or do you want to be seen as the badass you actually are? Do but you want to be heroes... seen as Electric Ghost Rider? <laughs> no. <laughs> who doesn't want? Who doesn't want to be Zapman <laughs> Ghost Rider? <laughs> Isn't this one of the first choices to do? That's like literally like, hey, this is how it looks like if you're a good guy, and this is what happens when you're a bad guy. Hey, do you know that people like or hate you, and will throw little rocks at you if you're bad? And that's all they ever do. Zeke is never gonna believe yeah. this one. I mean, if you're good, they also throw rocks at the bad guys instead. Yeah, and it's like it does equally as nothing as it does to you. But I mean, I guess to be fair, I did say in the beginning of the LP, like, I think this karma system is a little better. I don't, I don't remember if it gets... I think you get better powers in two, but I think in this, this game, it kind of translates a little better to being a good or bad guy. Oh, there they are. You gotta be kidding. They look like, they look like <coughs> alien, well, <laughs> these enemies are annoying, takes care of every single one of them in one grenade. Oh, well, never mind. I, we spoke too soon. These guys are more annoying because it's like they have an absurd amount of health for this point in the game. Yeah, this, this difficulty curve is a little, the, I, I mentioned it before, but like the difficulty curve in this game is a little whack. At like the beginning of this area, yes it is. Yeah, and it's like you go from ridiculous, like, like decent curve of like, hey, it's gonna start getting a ramping up a little better, and there's gonna be a little bit better enemies to that, that tunnel section, which is just awful. And then you kind of co calm back down a little bit, and then you go to the end of the first island. And that's pretty cool. You know, it's pretty chill. Then you get here, and it's like, oh my god. Why are these guys taking 50 electric bolts to die? I know, and like, one grenade only clears like half the room, whereas the first island it can take care of pretty much anything you're doing. Yeah. Also, we're yeah. still following Dealing this guy apparently. Yeah, yeah, this is just one of the more the boring story missions. Though I do, oh, yeah, it's I do. Ones. Hmm. Mm -hmm. And now we get the explosive variants of these enemies. Oh. Fun. Oh my god. The the yeah, the suiciders. Yeah, well, like you were saying, it's like, it's just one of those. Oh, and we're dead. Yeah, don't you love rocket Great. launchers? I love rocket launchers, kids. I think every household should have one. Not really, but... Four in one blow. <laughs> well, that, okay, I gotta give you props to that. That was actually really <laughs> solid. I own, I just held Bless my... <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna hold off and... I'm just gonna put them all in one giant montage. 
Oh, right. So you're gonna see another cut where it's like we're gonna have this short health or this short lightning bar, and then you're just gonna see it like stretch to the rest of the screen. Because this is where most of them are, aren't they? Like the second island has probably most of the rest of what we're gonna have to find. Yeah, the first area has the most. Like the first area here has the most blast shards, including this one that I'm just gonna save as the very last one because I know where it is. Mm -hmm. And I, you know, I think I'm just gonna start that montage thing once it gets to the point where the whole uh, power cores don't increase anymore. And then it just tells you, yeah. here's how many are left to go. Yeah, I remember that. Which I think it's dumb. It's like, if you're gonna put a collectible like that in this game, at least cap it off when you're done getting benefits from it. That's oh, the one wait. thing about those spiders that I hate, is that they just kind of disappear because they're so fast. So it's like you have to look for them. That one was stuck inside the thing. <laughs> Just like real spiders, though. Super fast, annoying, and Six they fall Six headshot. Six headshots at once. <laughs> <laughs> and he's still alive. Six headshots and he's still alive. That just so shows you know how what? ridiculous these guys' his HP is. You know, you know what, man? Some people survive them headshots, and you gotta give them credit. They just deserve to live at that point. You get, you, you get the pass. Six in a row. That means you're a really lucky fucking person. <laughs> I'm just saying. I took care Look, of the seven. Oh uh, well, I guess he didn't survive that seventh one. Oh well. I thought that person was gonna hit you. <laughs> <What the hell? laughs> like, I like spiders. Says no one ever. I like spiders. <laughs> when they leave like me alone. Man. I like Spider Man. <laughs> Does that count as a spider? <laughs> Ow. Oh. Oh! Do, and look at that, we're really right next a... to the next story mission. How convenient. Hmm. It's almost like, well, actually, to be fair, to give that credit to this game for it, a lot of the story missions kind of fall into a line. When you start doing them, you, they're just like, the next one's just like, wait, is that a story mission? No, it's a side mission. Yeah, I was yeah, just checking what it was. Doing, right, once you do the story missions, a lot of them just kind of pop up next to each other, which is decent. Yeah. At least the ones where... But this one is more of, it's, you had this one here, and then you could also do this one over here instead. And you could just do whichever mm -hmm. one first, but oh, yeah, this is where like, we get back to the first island. Trish. Okay, good. So now we can just kind of start doing cleanup on that first island. Yep. Oh, great! The trash people are just holding people hostage for no reason. They're holding this guy hostage because he's a construction worker, and they know that because he can operate the bridge to get people back to the first island, they can't really do any hostage situations to get off. Oh, uh, right, oh, right. So, these guys are literally just saying, people can't get back to the first island because we say so. Oh boy. Good headshot. Where were you going? Okay, say? good, I got him. God. Okay. You just kind of spammed it at the end. Like that. <laughs> yeah, because I didn't get a headshot on him. And I was worried. It's like, <laughs> yeah, you're like the yeah. sniper that instead of missing, like when you miss the headshot, you're just like. <laughs> It's like, oh She's god. Fix the stone canal Rain down on him! <laughs> She's stuck in the quarantine too. Oh wow, Afraid that guy so. bounced right off the rail and went flying. <laughs> I love I mean, this game's yeah, drink. She did. Good. Yeah. Good. I hate to see Wait, am I, stuck in am I supposed to lead this guy? I think, uh, there's just more enemies coming. I think you just have to take care of all the enemies. Before I, you can free him. I think they mostly spawned because I went up to the bridge to take care of one dude. Because he was annoying me. And then because I had to take care of that one Jesus dude, Christ. I have to take care of these other guys. Imagine being the trash guy when you're doing that, just bouncing back and forth between the rails because you're electrocuting him. It's like, oh, oh, oh. It's like the Sonic uh, <laughs> Rise of Lyric drowning animation sound. It's like, oh, oh, oh. oh yeah, I am supposed to lead him, but he was hiding because the enemies were shooting. Isn't that yeah, fun? Yeah, which is an annoying part about this game. It's gonna happen again with more of these situations. Yeah. Where it's like, enemies are here, they just kind of run into a corner and hide. Yeah, and this ain't the last time we're gonna have a, a situation where we just escort have to leave mission. some... Yeah, an escort mission. I forgot what that was called. 
Yeah, right. This is... Sword... I don't know. Though, what I was saying earlier about the spiders, one of the storage containers is like one of the things where they pop out from. Mm -hmm. So it's not like... It's, it's not like they just appear giant? from anywhere. So it's... Just, right. Yeah. Like, it's not horrible, it's just a little annoying. It's not horrible, it's just and an And as I say set. that, there's like 50 it... spiders that appear. Yeah, but to me, I think it's kind of an annoying inconsistency because it's like you've established that the big fat dudes grow these spiders. Why are they just kind of around the city now? I was about to heal him, but he got up anyway. Oh, yeah, that's what happens when you kick a horde. They they kick back. That car nearly killed that spider. And then one spider was just barking at you like, he just wanted to be your friend, man. Come on. Why are you so mean to spiders? Oh yeah, and now it's gonna be a tower defense mission again. Great! Another non-genre- what? Did- what? Okay, that happened. I saw that spider just go flying into the air like Fuji from Simpsons. Yep. <laughs> no! The, sp the spider- wow. wow! I wanted to hit the glass, but it targeted the people. <laughs> Hero question mark? <laughs> Hey, let me give you an electric bro fist. Oh no! <laughs> hey, do you, do you want to <laughs> do, you wanna do that cool back. thing with weird signs where your hair starts fizzing? Here, give me a fist pump. Oh, too much. Oops. That guy almost ran into your shot. It would have been his fault. Yeah. I just love the, like, Sometimes this game just boils down to, I'm gonna stand here and take bullets, and as long as I kill the other one, I'm gonna be fine. <laughs> like that. Yep. <laughs> just kick them when they're down. Uh, there's more riot shield. Yeah. This is where I'm saying where it's like, the, the enemy variety in this game is really so, like, it's just palette swaps. It, it... Damn, circuits yeah, I mean, I will say that these guys with riot shields at least have, like, big openings. Shield in said yeah. shields so that like you can hit their head you can shoot them more easily but it's yeah. at the end of the day they're still using shields yeah it's still right shield there. people and it's still we'll like at least you do get the little spiders what as was that guy doing a, this guy was doing a jig <laughs> <laughs> he was doing, he was <laughs> dancing a little jig while i was out <laughs> here shooting all these enemies like <laughs> yeah, da, 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 everything's fine i'm not gonna die oh no i'm gonna die <laughs> <laughs> it's like you, it's like you stand behind the force of God, and then God turns around and goes, "Why are you dancing?" Zap. <laughs> yeah, why? Would yes, you I'm know? implying that Cole is God in this universe because he pretty much is. Hydraulics on the other side aren't engaging. Well, can you fix them? No. Except oh yeah, and now we person. have to basically <laughs> repeat the first part of this mission, Hold on. but on this area. Uh, I know someone who might be. Able Yay! To help now we just get to go do this in the first island. We haven't totally seen this area at all. Roger. What a new place to traverse. On the south side of SC isn't engaging, and I need your help getting it online. Where are you? Park, you stuck there, buddy? But unless you're carrying a a little. Gun, just gonna just gonna go around. Okay. <laughs> oh, 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 no, no, no. Yeah, I'm gonna go around. <laughs> yeah, finally, sure. I get the oh, easy oh. enemies. <laughs> finally, we get the uh, quote unquote the easy enemies, as in pretty much just the same. I never, I mean, I never found the, I only found the bigger trash people annoying, but the smaller ones are just the same. It's At just this point, different. all of them are annoying because they take so many shots to kill, even with headshots. Like, you, right. you saw six headshots still alive. Like, mm -hmm. that, that was just ridiculous. Look, I'm just, I'm just saying, the guy was very lucky, okay? And I doubt we're gonna run into another one like that, you know? Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Ugh. Oh. Uh, I mean, can another two people really have the same amount of luck? Going to have to hit those another precision fast. moment. Oh boy. Yay! Oh. More, more sn rapid fire sniping. Think. Think. That's hitting the tree. Oh. How? <laughs> you still? Oh, okay. So you still hit the tree. Yeah, just, just machine gun him. Uh, <laughs> Whatever. I shot him. Oh. <laughs> wow, what a hero. Well, if I just take care of the engineer, then there's no problem. I'm gonna spam, <laughs> I'm gonna anything. shoot everywhere, and if I hit you, well, at least I killed the bad guy. 
Don't worry, they're just rubber bullets. Mine are the ones you have to worry about. <laughs> yeah, if you go near the bridge, that's where the people with the real bullets are. Wait, he still died, what? Why? What? Cut! Yeah. We're back. We had unexpected technical internet difficulties. <laughs> that was annoying. Yeah. It took about uh, 20 minutes. Yeah, internet providers just so amazing and they don't totally throttle us at all or do anything wrong, but let's not get into that. Yeah, let's go. Let's just continue with the infamous thing, as I like to call it. So what did the Reapers want to do? Heard the are, are we just gonna take our anger out on these random tower, bus stops? So okay. Yeah, I'm gonna break this glass. Seems like a lot of work. Well, can't do it in real life, so garbage. might as well yeah. do it in the video game. Working on that thing is a death sentence. They work you until you drop, and then they pop you in the head. Hmm. Okay. So apparently they're trying to add in this plot point of the uh, trash men are trying to build like this giant tower thing in the background, which we already saw thanks to a previous part where I went to the top of this bridge and showed the silhouette of it. Yeah, and it looked like, what was it, a duck? We yeah. Made, we called it the, da the Daffy Duck Tower. <laughs> no, that's what you said it was. Yeah, I can't wait to explore the Daffy Duck Tower made of trash. Because that that's is... totally, like, a, a viable thing to build a tower out of. The train... What the... <laughs> train oh. OP plus nerf. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Oh, oh, oh! Okay, that was really, that was really slapstick. <laughs> Why use electric bullets to take care of our enemies when the train can just destroy them? And yeah. Send them flying. Why, why bother doing the work yourself when you can use the free train to do it? <laughs> and take all the credit. See, I want a karma system for the train. If it just runs over random people, then it just becomes like a red glowing pulsing train, like from Persona 5, and then if it's a good train, it just stays the same. The memento train. No, becomes, yeah, or no, it becomes Thomas the Tank Engine, if it's like a good train. <laughs> Someone mod that in. Someone mod yes. this in. So, someone take this 10 year old game and mod in the Mementos train if it's bad and Thomas the Tank Engine is good. No, like, I want a mod for an emulated version of this. Oh, I would like. There were so many. I think there was. Was this one of the games that people would, like, mod goofy stuff into back in the day? Because, like, I know Grand Theft Auto 4 had a lot of that. I so didn't modded. really follow any modding communities back in. Back in before back in the good old day of 2009 good lord help us all we're getting old <laughs> back before 2012 what happened to this yeah. guy well i'm just you know i mean the, pow the power of thomas the tank engine cannot be messed with that's all i'm saying <laughs> he really reaches in far it's like slash from south park it's like it's like the, the oh he just did flips in the air these trash problem. people actually are kind of funny to look at because like they do a lot more goofy stuff yeah. With their ragdoll yeah. physics than any of the other enemies in the game. It's because they have so many moving parts on. Them. Yeah, it's because they have so many moving parts on them. Because they're trash people. Literally trash people. Not, not, not any of your social media opinions. <laughs> Relevant. Utaba is best girl. Don't at me. Uh, that's a uh, lead. That's Legon at the night on Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> Please send all your hate mail directed towards him. I did not say that. I mean, that isn't actually my Twitter handle. It's all for entertainment purposes. You gotta stop pulling back the curtain, Legon. Please ignore the man behind the curtain. He's a killjoy. <laughs> Please ignore the man behind the curtain. He has trash waifus. Man, now I just imagine the Wizard of Oz in, in the context of waifu wars, and it's kind of a whole other light. Stand back. Best Dorothy, biggest waifu. I I said it before on Look, Discord, and I'll say it again here, now. Best girl is really just safe. another form See of favoritism. I mean, I guess you're not wrong. Best girl really is a well. I mean, I don't know, man. Because I, I mean, I I mean, I do say that Futaba is best girl, but I will say 
all the all the Persona 2 females have a better characterization than she does. I think well, I think a lot of the Persona 2 cast in general has probably has some better chemistry than. I don't know. We're we're getting into the wrong conversation for the wrong <laughs> game. <laughs> we're not even there yet. <laughs> yeah, I mean that is the next <laughs> let's that is the next let's play yeah, that I'm gonna be doing. Yeah. But so yeah, did we should you, probably did just. Did you guys say... know that we're doing Persona 2? You do now. Yeah. All two of you viewers out there. Yeah. Though I will also say that once Persona 5 Royal comes out, I'm just gonna drop everything and play that because. Um, I'll, ex I'll explain that are. when we get to that. In about half a year. Hi, you've reached Trish Daly's voicemail. In about a year, because I said it's coming out in the West in about 2020. Trish, so it gives us a fair amount of time to get some two done. Down. Yeah, I think that should only take like three months at most, though. Yeah. Hey, Zeke, you still Depends on how long you cut the parts, I guess. But. Oh, yeah, that's another thing about Zeke, is he's just kind of that typical early mid thousand kind of person. Zeke will do anything and everything to get laid. Right. Basically any protagonist from like an early thousands Ryan Reynolds movie. <laughs> yeah. Or Dane Cook if you really want to go into the well of terrible people. Ryan Reynolds is not a terrible person, but you know. Yeah, he's a great dead he's a great is. Deadpool. <laughs> oh wait. I said Ryan Reynolds isn't a terrible person, but the greatest example is him being Deadpool. <laughs> <laughs> I mean he's also Detective okay. Pikachu, so there's that. <laughs> Deadpool for the kids. Great. Yeah. Isn't that great? You know, I mean, I guess, I guess that old picture I used to see on the internet, like dead Pikachu, like Deadpool or Pikachu dressed as Deadpool, kind of fits now because Deadpool is Pikachu. <laughs> this superhero racket is great, man. Solving crimes. Shut up. Ladies, I get used to living. Shut life. up. You're not actually a superhero. Yep. Not actually a super and now he's an electric source. I know you can like light him up and then absorb it since he's he's an unmovable NPC. <laughs> That's great. Man, Zeke really is the true hero of this story. Zeke all people snarf. I know, Zeke is the greatest Smash Brothers character. Also, what, what, well, look how pretentious this game is using quotes from like Winston Churchill and stuff like that. Like, come on. Hey, Moya, I'm you're you're kind of just a, a platformer with Zappy Zappy Man. You're not that important. I'm also tracking a couple new developments. I'll be in touch with Nice. You missed the front train by like half another one. Does that still work? I don't remember if you get on the first one if it's still like, yeah, it doesn't do anything. Yeah. Never mind. I like how he rides it too, like, <laughs> it's like he's surfing on the train. I'm just gonna ride it like this now. <laughs> can you get hit by anything? I wish you could, I don't know if you can. I don't... Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Quarter out uh, demonstratum. Yep. <laughs> why, why answer the question when your actions can speak for you? <laughs> Yeah. I have to say something about how this game looks though. I think the game, this game actually looks a lot better when you're in the daytime parts of it than it does when you're at night, in my opinion. I just don't think the nighttime areas pop out as much because it's supposed to be like a, like a, a near powerless city. Yeah, so it's like, you don't really whole, see any lights. like a grimy area that isn't, doesn't have much life yeah. left in it. Right, and I think griminess and that kind of stuff works in the daytime better, but then I'll give credit to two. I think two looks a lot better aesthetically with the colors and stuff. Yeah, one certainly has its graphical style, but two certainly pops more and is more memorable. But I do think that that's enough for this part because we had a long, long time on technical difficulties and we did the story missions and got back to the main island and also got Finally. to drink beer with Zeke. Yeah, and then get hit by a train pole. It was a really good day. Thomas the Tank Engine saved us, kind of, and then hit us. Yay, now let's save everybody mementos in the next part. <laughs> See you next time on Infamous the Hero playthrough, question mark. <laughs> Infamous the Persona. <laughs> oh my god. Cole McGrath <laughs> as your persona would be OP, please nerf.